Okay, next one, let's look at example A. A 2 kg body oscillates in simple harmonic motion. If its kinetic energy K changes with displacement Y, as shown in figure, find the amplitude, the period, and the maximum acceleration. Okay, so now we are given a graph of kinetic energy against displacement. Okay, so sorry, here displacement should be should be Y, not X. Okay, so kita dibagi the kinetic energy which is in Joule, displacement which is in meter. Okay, so ada dua maklumat yang kita boleh dapatkan daripada graph ni. First is the value here. Represent the value for represent the value for maximum kinetic energy. Sebab ni adalah value paling tinggi lah. So it will be the maximum kinetic energy. And then the two value here is the value for amplitude. Okay, satu positif, satu negatif. Okay, so first question we want to find what is the amplitude. So basically amplitude kita boleh dapatkan daripada daripada graph which is 0 0.2 meter. Next one, we want to find the value for the period. So we want to find the value for T. And we know that T, kita ada dua formula lah. Satu, 1 over F. Satu lagi kita boleh dapatkan daripada omega. Di mana omega adalah sama dengan 2 pi over t. So in order to find t, we can either use this one, which is kita kena ada value for frequency. Ataupun use this one, which is kita kena ada value for omega. Okay. So daripada graph tadi, kita sudah, uh, kita boleh extract information, which is kita boleh dapatkan amplitude. And then satu lagi adalah maximum kinetic energy. Okay, so the value here, we can use to find another value. Okay, so before that, let's keluarkan dahulu formula untuk kinetic energy. Okay, which is ada dalam nota di mana uh, formula untuk kinetic energy adalah 1 over 2 m omega square a square minus y square. Okay, so ni adalah formula untuk kinetic energy. So, basically here, we have the value for kinetic energy. So, kalau kamu perasan dekat dalam graph, okay, the value K is equal to 0 when, this is when Y sama dengan kosong. So, Y kita kosongkan di sini, and then value for K adalah sama dengan 2 joule. So, here, so here, Y will be equal to 0. Okay, K is equal to 2 joule, when y sama dengan kosong. So we can find the value for omega amplitude kita ada. Mass pun kita dibagi which is 2 kg. And then k is given from the graph which is 2 joule. So we can find the value for omega. So masukkan 1 over 2 mass 2 kg omega square. And then 0 0.2 square. So we can get the value for omega which is equal to 7.07 .07 radian per second. So, daripada sini bolehlah kita dapatkan the value for period uh, which is 2 pi over omega. 2 pi over 7.07 .07 equal to 0 0.89 second. Okay, and last one, we want to find the maximum acceleration. Okay, maximum acceleration. So, this one, maximum acceleration. Kalau tengok dekat nota. Uh, where is it? This one here. Okay, so maximum acceleration. This one. Maximum acceleration is always equal to A omega square. So, this one is formula. Untuk maximum acceleration. And this one adalah formula untuk maximum velocity. Always kena ingatlah this one. So, gunakan sahaja formula ni. A omega square. And then, you masukkan value dia. Since kita sudah ada. 0.2 omega is 7.07. .07. And then, dapat Amx is equal to 10 meter per second square. 